Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the T-string list. So what is the T-string list, what are the property and we will take one Delphi uh, example to understand post property. So T-string list maintain a list of string. T-string list is derived from the T-string. T-string is actually the abstract class and it implements the abstract method of the T-string and introduce some of own method like sorting, prohibiting duplicate string. And uh, here I have mentioned the few of the important property, the count property, common text property, delimited text property, value property, duplicate property. So here you can uh, put the logic of the duplicate property in that way. If user want to in add the duplicate key, then it will ignore, uh, it can accept, it will throw the error. Sorted property, object property, append method, insert method, delete method, and clear method. And some of the important method is like load from file. So we can load uh, from file. A set of the list is there in the file. We can load that file into our uh, testing list object. And we can save. We can save to the file also from the testing object. So we'll see this in Delphi uh, code. Index of name and find method, sort method, add string, assign method. And in this slide, I just I mentioned it. Uh, what is the hierarchy of the T string list? So T string list derived from the T string, and T string derived from the T persistent, and uh, T persistent derived from the T object. Let's uh, take one example. Here I have taken the console application and I uh, just created a variable, the string list object of type T string list, and uh, then I'm creating the object and assigned the uh, to the string list object. And then I'm adding this as five a string into the string list object. After that, I'm uh, using the for loop and uh, printing the all the five a string on the console. And then we are working on the just I'm as assigning the delimiter, so semicolon the delimiter here. So after that, again I'm printing what is the delimited text. So it will print with the semicolon. Then again, we are putting the what is the delimiter is uh, we have set it. So that delimiter to print it as a semicolon. So a comma or whatever you want to you want to put the delimiter, it will display in this, right? So as of now, we have put semicolon. It will display in this, and it will give the value semicolon. And we here we are. Uh, uh, doing the, uh, the we are loading the file right load from the file uh, into the testing list object and then save into the file right so these are the two method we are using in this sorting we are working and after that key value right so key value pair and after that uh, i'm adding the the object how to add the object into the string list so let's run and see it, how this value is uh, displaying so here uh, one by one we are adding into uh, these five flowers into the string list object after that it's printing uh, through the for loop we are printing from the string object okay uh, to the console and then just put in the delimiter and uh, uh, we are printing here again the what is the delimited text what is the delimiter so we will see it here what is the value as of now so we can see all the five rows is printed because of the four rows okay. and then the semicolon is the delimiter and the delimited text is nothing but the, this row semicolon row the semicolon given the right The next is we are just clearing the objects so we will remove all the you know, all the string from the string list of after that uh, i'm loading from the file so what is the, the string is there in this file we will see it so here we have uh, basically the aster bell flower and uh, blue bell Right, these are the three string is uh, there in this file. So I'm just loading this file into my string list object, 
and after that just comment text i am trying to show it on the console again i am adding to this uh, object list right the blue bell once again and saving into the file so saving in this file and uh, we will see that what are the value is uh, coming here so now we can see that we have loaded the three value like uh, three string aster bell flower and blue bell right from the this string list right this, this uh, file and after that we have added the blue bell once again so we have this set of the string into the this file right so this is the save to file it will do next is uh, we are starting this and we can show that in the comma text into the console so we can see it how it is playing so it is started way now right string started for me next is that we can add the uh, key value right so name value pair we are adding and after that we can print it what is the name the, the zero index right so name at the zero index is right we can see it here name at the zero index is row so the row one is the zero index now again we are adding the object and after that we are printing the item one what is the index of this so let's see that what is the item index of one because the zeroth index is this is the row one equal to 100 this is the second uh, first index we have added this so that's when one is coming at the item one index is one 